A model is a set of packages designed for reuse. Not all the packages in a model can be reused. This is where the control happens. When creating a model, you can set what packages can be reused and which can't. From JDK 9, the Java API packages have been split into models. Here is a diagram that shows that. You have models like java.base, java.desktop, java.sql. The API models are referred to as platform models, and all their names begin with the prefix java. When coding, you take note of the packages you need and which models those packages belong to. You then require those models. This way, you do not need to carry the weight of packages in other models that were of no use to your program. So in summary, the Java Platform Model System allows you to create more lightweight applications by only including the models and classes that are actually needed. Before JPMS, you will typically include entire libraries in your application, even if you only needed a small portion of their functionality. This will result in larger applications with potential unnecessary code and classes. In the platform models, the most important is the Java base, java.base. It includes fundamental Java packages such as java.lang, java.io, java.util, and the others. So since java.base model contains the core Java classes, all other models implicitly depend on it. This means that when you create your own model or use any other Java model, you don't need to explicitly specify a dependency on java.base as it is automatically included. Just like java.lang is automatically available to all programs without having to import it, the java.base model is automatically accessible to all modules without explicitly requiring it. The java.base model itself does not depend on any other model. Now this ensures that the core Java functionality is self-contained and free of external dependencies. If we check out J shell, we can see that the package of a string is java.lang. Java.lang is automatically imported and during coding like in an IDE, you don't need an import statement to use Java string. Now in JDK 9 and above, you can check the model of a class. We see the model of string class as java.base. And this is because java.lang package is located in the java.base model. I can use list models command in my terminal to check out the available models. You will see all available models starting from java.base. We have java.compiler, java.desktop, java.sql, so many others. It is only java.base that is required automatically. In coming lessons, I will show you how to require other models when you need packages located in them.